What's up everyone, welcome back for more Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, I cleared the forest temple, but I got the boss to do. As you can see, I'm standing in front of the boss key door, let's go in. Ugh, and this room is actually pretty dark, if I look at it. I mean... Wow, it's the drivers up there, and... There are all sorts of portraits on the wall, but... There's nothing here. The whole room is freaking empty. Oh well, let's just get out of here then. Or, wait, what? Hmm. Huh? Whoa! My... Is that Ganondorf? No way, we're not gonna battle Ganondorf yet, are we? That... No, no, that's... Hmm. What? Ugh. What the fuck is that? Evil spirit from beyond Phantom Ganon, so it's not the real Ganon, it's his Phantom. Interesting. Alright. So, this battle is pretty easy if you look at it. He technically runs into one of these portraits, and he comes out of one. He goes in two, he comes out of one. And you, like I just did, gotta shoot the correct one. That's pretty much everything you need to do here. Do this three times. So I'm going for a second. Oh, um, I'll go for that one. Yeah, good shot. Good shot. Nice. So that's two out of three. We're already um, pretty far ahead. It's not that difficult. And oh, he's coming out here again. Should I? Should I? You know what? I'll just take the same one. And wow, he actually comes out the same. Now this is the second phase against the real fan again. Answer his magic attack with mine. So what you gotta do? He's gonna fire. Ow. He's gonna shoot an electric energy ball at you. And all you have to do is reflect it. Oh, wait. Wait a minute, that should have hit him. Hmm. That it's not working? What? Ow. Yeah, look at the top left. These energy balls take off a full heart of you if you mess up, and I think I need to swap back to the Master Sword. So let's just do that. Alright. Back to the good old Master Sword, I guess. Now let's see if I can hit him. Like... this? Ugh, oh, too late. The full heart off again. Really, I shouldn't do this in my tree art run around death. Two... Three... Ugh! Oh, come on, stop sucking. Seriously. Come on, come on. And... One. Two. Oh no, jeez. Dude. It's the first time I actually suck so hard. Alright, let's do it right. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Okay, now he goes down. Let's take my bigger on sword out. And let's see how many hits he will take. Like, one and... What? You can't tell me that's it. You cannot possibly tell me that I just killed him. In two seconds. That's not possible. Seriously. Hey kid, you did quite well. It looks like you may be gaining some slight skill. But you have defeated only my phantom. When you fight the real me, it won't be so easy. You have defeated I actually... What? What a worthless creation that ghost was. I will banish it to the gap between the mansions. Is Ganondorf able to do that? That's pro. And I actually defeated Phantom Ganon in two seconds after he dropped down. Way to go, Ocarina of Time. Way to go for the difficulty level. Ugh, anyways, I'm done. And... High standard number 14. Awesome job. So, let's get in there. Let's get out of here. Wow. To a surprisingly rough start, this battle was way too easy. Ugh. So, of course, we're going to the Chamber of the Sages. And let's see who would be the Forest Sage. Actually. Hmm. Oh, jeez, I should have guessed that. Of course. Thank you. Because of you, I could awaken as a Sage. I am Saria, the Sage of the Forest Temple. Of course, I should have known that. I always believed that you would come. Because I know you. No. You don't have to explain it to me. Because it is destiny that you and I can't live in the same world. I will stay here as the forest sage and help you. Now please take this medallion. 
Alright, because we cleared the forest temple and Saria is now awakened as the forest sage. As a token of our appreciation, we receive the forest medallion, the second out of six. Which means we cleared the first dungeon. Way to go! You received the forest medallion, Saria, Saria awakens as a sage and adds her power to yours. Thumbs up. Saria will always be your friend. That's true. True friendship never dies. Never. Anyways. And we're back at the Deku Tree. Interesting. And there are two leaves and a little pine in the floor. Whoa. What, what could it be? So let's check it out, I guess. Um, hello? What? Whoa! Shark. What the hell is that? Dude, you surprised me there. Hi there, I'm the Deku Tree Sprout. Because you and Saria broke the curse on the forest temple, I can grow and flourish. Thanks a lot. Okay. Random. Hey, have you seen your old friends? None of them recognize you with your growing up body, did they? That's because the Kokiri never grow up. Even after several years, they're still kids. Then why am I still grown up? You must be wondering why only you have grown up. Yes, I was. Nice notice. Well, as you might have already guessed, you're not a Kokiri. You're actually a Helian. I am happy to finally reveal this secret to you. So I'm a Helian? Then how did I end up in the Kokiri forest? Shouldn't I be in Hyrule Castle or something? Or in Hyrule Town? Some time ago, before the King of Hyrule unified this country, there was a fierce war in our world. Oh gee, a war story. One day, to escape from the fires of the war, an Helian mother and her baby boy entered this forbidden forest. first. So I guess the baby boy is me. Interesting. The mother was gravely injured. Her only choice was to entrust the child to the Deku Tree, the guardian spirit of the forest. Hmm. Wow. The Deku Tree could sense that this was a child of destiny, whose fate would affect the entire world, so he took him into the forest. And not because he's sentimental. Yeah, right. After the mother passed away, the baby was raised as a Kokiri, and now, finally, the day of destiny has come. Cool. So, technically, I am not a Kokiri. You are a Helian, and we're always bound to leave this forest, and now you have learned your own destiny. So you know what you must do. That's right. You must save the land of Hyrule. Now, Particle, break the curses on all of the temples and return peace to Hyrule. Okay, let's do that. So anyways, we just found out we're not Kokiri, we're actually Helians. Nice. Ugh, anyways. I will skip a lot ahead and... I will see you guys once I reach, well, once I reach the Temple of Time. And as you can see, the monsters are gone, so that's a good sign. Anyways, I'll see you in a moment. Alright, so we're in the Temple of Time again, and I'm gonna see what she has to say, because I actually cleared the first temple. So let's go. And Sheik's standing there. Hmm. You destroyed the wicked creatures that haunted the temple and awakened the sage. But there are still other sages who need your help. In order to awaken all the other sages, you must become even more powerful. You must travel over mountains, underwater, and even through time. If you want to return to your original time, return the Master Sword to the pedestal of time. By doing this, you will travel back in time seven years. Interesting. So we can actually go back to our youth form. The time will come when you will have to return here quickly. I will teach this to you for when that time comes. The song to return you to the Temple of Time. The Prelude of Light. Play the Prelude of Light. It's actually really easy. Up right, up right, left up. So let's play. There we go. And there's actually some shining light above us for like no reason. But it doesn't matter. Anyways, this is our fourth warp song and if we won't need to return to the Temple of the Time, we can just play the song. You've learned the Prelude of Light. 
As long as you hold the Ocarina of Time and the Master Sword, you hold time itself in your hands. Particle, we shall meet again. As usual, actually. And this time she actually has some light Deku nut. Ugh. Anyways, since we're here already, I'm actually gonna drop my sword in here. And, because we do so, the same light appears, the Triforce once again lights up, and we will be sent back seven years in time to our child form. So we're back here as a child. And as you can see, we can't use the bow nor the hookshot anymore, but I don't really mind. Anyways, I will see you guys once I reach Kakariko Village, and in the special, the windmill. See you in a moment. Alright, so I'm in the windmill right now, and remember the quote from that dude? Like, he said, some kid played a strange song seven years ago? The Song of Storms? Let's see what happens if we actually do that. Because he was pissed off seven years later that the windmill was messed up, so let's see what's gonna happen. Hmm, it's gonna spin a lot quicker. Weird. And whoa, that thing is going on a rampage. And what happens because of that is that the well gets drained. Which is important because our next destination, our next dungeon is in the well. Normally you take other dungeons first, but okay, let's talk to him. Go around, go around, go around. What? It's going way too fast. Yeah, it's way too fast actually. Anyways, like I said, there are other dungeons which you can take, but I'm not gonna do that. It's normal right now, as you can see. And I'm gonna check out the well. So let's go in here. Drop down. Hurt my feet. If Whoa, that's dark. Anyways, this is the ending for Ocarina of Time for a while. Ocarina of Time is no place on hiatus for a while until my guest commentator is ready to commentate. This person had some personal issues in real life and I give this person the time to deal with those. So until this person is ready, no Ocarina of Time, but there will be a new next play. New let's play next week. Don't stumble. Anyways, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, sub, and as usual, have a nice day. I'll see you soon for more Ocarina of Time. Peace out, y'all.